Oh, this is G Mother Barber right here from FL Legacy Barbershop. Uh, I just wanted to make this video for a little while, so I finally uh, decided to do it today. Uh, I would like to talk about how to find a good barber for people that are actually moving to a new city and they need to find a new barber and they actually don't want to take a chance and get a messed up haircut. I have a few tips on how finding a good barber. And uh, I also want to tell you what not to do when trying to find a good barber, you know, because I see so many people making that mistake and that just doesn't work, you know what I mean? Just never, please, never do this when you come to a new barber shop. Because it, it, as soon as you do this, they don't want to deal with you. Don't come to the barber shop, you know, first time and you walk into the barber shop and you ask, who's the best over here? Who's the best? You know, don't do that. You don't do that because the barber, the barbers, we we are like a family, you know. If you come in here asking who's the best, so what am I gonna say? Oh, I'm the best. Then what about my friends, my older barber, my colleagues? You know, how how are they gonna feel if I say that I'm the best? So when you, when they ask who's the best, I'm not gonna say that I'm the best, and they shouldn't say that they're the best either because we are a team. We 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 work in a, in a team, you know. We we're not competing right here like that we, we know fighting over client so don't do that you know just just or do what i told you so another thing that you shouldn't do is uh don't come to the barber shop with a story of something that happened about another barber that messed up your hair and you almost knocked him out and you wanted to fight him that yeah, we don't want to hear that we chose to be a barber because uh we like this we like this uh, industry. We didn't choose to be a barber to get knocked down. Oh, I'm gonna knock you out if you don't get my edge right. That doesn't work, you know? If somebody come up to the barber shop like that, I don't even want him in my chair, to be honest with you, you know? It just, it, uh, I would like to tell you what I consider a good barber, actually. And uh, a good barber, to me, you know, it's uh, somebody that actually Cut hair really good. Somebody that is uh, responsible. Somebody that takes uh, his job really serious. And somebody that is uh, consistent uh, with his haircut and his schedule. You know, and that's actually really hard to find. Uh, but I, I have a couple of ideas, you know. And you would probably, you're probably thinking, oh, why should I believe this guy, you know? Well, I've been cutting hair for about 18 years now, and uh, I have seen a lot of barbers. Uh, that barber that worked with me, barber that worked in my shop, and barber that I have worked with, you know? And I just know, I just know. I've seen a lot of good barbers and bad barbers out there, you know? So, so my first tip that I would say, if you move to a new city and you <clears throat> trying to find a good barber, one of the easiest, step is like to actually uh if you are walking on the street or on the city when you see somebody with a good haircut don't be scared you know you can actually give him a compliment on the haircut if you like the haircut and you think it's a really good haircut you can give him a compliment and you can actually ask him where he got his haircut and you know that might be the easiest way to find a good barber or at least a barber that can cut that can cut good that's uh, tip number one. And the second tip, and I think it's really helpful too, is uh, to actually look up a barbershop on social media. That way you're gonna be able to see their profile and you're gonna be able to see some of their work as well. And that way, you know, you already know if they can cut or no. And uh, once you find a good barbershop, you know, you, you just honestly you just gotta give it a try you know give it a try i would recommend to visit a barber shop like on a saturday one of those busy days because usually that's the day that all of the barbers are working you know barber shop because sometimes a barber shop might have 10 chairs and out of those 10 chairs only like four or five are actually occupied well uh, like that day you know what i mean in different day not, not every barber work every day that's what i'm trying to say so if uh if you go on a saturday most likely all of the barbers are going to be there 
it, because usually barber don't really take Saturday as a day off, or at least they shouldn't, you know, because that's a really busy day. So once you go to a barber shop, you know, you're gonna have to try one of the barber, and once you sit on a barber chair and he's cutting your hair, you explain him how you want your hair cut and everything, and you know, after you explain him, he's cutting your hair, you know, hopefully he get it right. But as you're there, sitting there, uh, getting your hair cut, try to look around all the barbers and try to look for a barber that you think that that he's doing a good job on somebody else, you know, and uh, if once you find that, then next time, if you like the haircut that you got, you come back to the same barber, but if, if you don't, if you don't like the way he cuts your hair, don't just judge the whole barber shop, you know, come back and give it a try to a different barber, a different barber that you think that he will do better on, you, on, you, on your haircut. And, you know, that's, that's really helpful. I think that's a good way to find out a good barber. And also, you know, when it comes to finding a good barber, there are many things that you should look for, you know. A good barber, actually, is not somebody that can just cut hair, you know. That could be somebody that can cut hair really good, but he might not be a good barber, and I'm gonna tell you why right now. A good barber always have to keep his station clean. Like, part of being a good barber is keeping his station clean, sanitizing his clipper, disinfecting his clippers, keeping his station really clean so that's you know you want to look for that too in a good barber because it's not just the haircut some people can cut hair really good some barber can cut hair really really good but uh when it comes to like cleaning they know the cleanest person so you might get a nice haircut and then three days later you start bumping up getting ingrown hair because he didn't use uh clean clippers and uh so that's important for somebody to be a good barber you know also, a good barber is uh, it's somebody that treats you with respect, you know, because, uh, you know, you deserve to be respected once you come to a barber shop, you know, you don't want the barber, like, not respecting your time or leaving you in the chair and having a conversation with somebody else and stopping the haircut, you know, you don't want that. So, I, first of all, I, I think you need to find somebody that can cut hair first and then after that uh, you need to make sure that he's clean you know usually a barber that the best barber out there you, you're gonna like for you to find a good barber barber that care about his work is really important and somebody that actually somebody that uh, invest in himself you know Somebody, because if, if somebody takes his job serious and take pride on his work, he's always gonna invest into new clippers. Or, you know, he's gonna invest into learning more and he's always willing to learn more. And he takes so much pride on his haircut or on his work that he's not gonna rush your haircut and get you in and out to get the next client that is waiting. Because if he's good and he takes his job serious, he wants to make sure he he put his name on good haircut, you know. That's a big thing too. Like you know, as a barber, you don't want if you care about your job, you don't want to just put your name on a messed up haircut just because you had a lot of people and you know and you were rushing trying to get all of them. I take my time. I rather cut ten people a day and that and have those ten people to come back. For, the, uh, for another haircut rather than cutting 20 and out of those 20 only three come back you know it's 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 not about quantity it's about quality so uh that's a little tip that that i wanted to share with you guys you know and that's it you know i uh, hope you can find a good barber out there and you know once you find a good barber just try to be you know try to be a good client too you know because uh, well that's another video too that i'm gonna make but yeah good barber deserve good client once you find a good barber he's respectful he does a pretty good job you know show him some appreciation you know don't, don't give him a hard time you know show up on time to your appointment you know and all that well that was it for today take care okay and good luck finding a good barber peace